we're gonna actually make a bonsai tree. We're gonna go ahead and jack some more Anubius Nana Petite down in here. Happy fish, happy life. Oh, that's so funny. I'm gonna surprise her. So when she comes home, she's gonna be like, oh my gosh, today, uh, oh my gosh. That looks like the damn bonsai tree on the back of Daniel LaRusso's gi in Karate Kid. Open up your eyes, uh, and now we're free, set aqua blue water is all I see. Bluer than the sky and it's all so deep, set island to island, just you and me. Aloha, this is your boy Brother Mel, aka the Hawaiian Peacock, here with another video for you. In this video here, we are hold up. Congratulations to my Rams, Super Bowl champs. I'm calling it right now. This video was made before the actual Super Bowl, okay? Right now, it's a Wednesday. Yes, a Wednesday. So I'm gonna go ahead and call the shot on this video. When I post this video, it's going to be the Rams year, Super Bowl champs, and we took down Tom Brady. That's right, that's right, we took him down. Anyways, shout out to Polly Lids. Polynesian lids. Check out this hat, custom made. We got the Polynesian tattoo on the lid. Big shout out. Go follow him over on Instagram, okay? Check out their lids. They do them all. Every team, he does them. Great dude. Anyways, let's get back to this tank here. This tank here in the corner, somebody in the house here said uh, that there's clutter in the corner. I have no idea. It's a lady that lives here, Mrs. Peacock. And um, how dare her say that... Uh, that corner there has clutter. Now, the clutter being my 10-gallon Zen tank. Yeah, Angel. Yeah, Angel. The Zen 2.0 tank. Come on. He's our protector. He's, he's Angel, man. He belongs there, you know? It's kind of like where the traffic goes through. That's like the first tank we see when we come home. It's Angel. Anyways, she wants him gone, right? So I'm going to go ahead and relocate him. Not gone, gone. Actually, I was going to get rid of him. I was actually going to give him to somebody here in the neighborhood. But my son, Junior Peacock, was like, no, Dad, we can't get rid of him. I like him. I said, where are we going to put him? He goes, put him in my room, Dad. Put him in my room. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to relocate that 10-gallon tank. Uh, we're going to put him in Junior Peacock's room. Now, with that being said, you know I have that old little saying at the end of every video. Oh, happy fish, happy life. Oh, that's so funny. Anyways, it's real right now. Now it's happy wife, happy life. Okay? It got real. It got real real fast. So the cool thing is she has no idea that I'm gonna relocate this tank and then she's gonna have her little cubby hole for whatever she wants to do. So with that being said, I'm gonna surprise her. So when she comes home, she's gonna be like, oh my gosh, today, uh, oh my gosh, it's, it's free. Oh, the clutter is gone. Oh my God, you know what, oh, I love you, baby. Why don't you go ahead and build that pool pond in the backyard for some monster fish? That's what I'm hoping for. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you updated on that. So not only are we gonna relocate Angel the Betta's tank into Junior Peacock's room, but we're also gonna do a little bit of scape. Yeah, we're gonna actually make a bonsai tree. Now, I had a couple of people on comments say, hey, I love your bonsai tree. How do you make your bonsai tree? Uh, I did a video about the bonsai tree that I made for that tank right there. And the bonsai tree kind of fell apart. So I wasn't digging it. I have another method and another way I want to do it. So that's what I'm going to show you guys in this video. As far as the other video, when I actually made the bonsai tree, I'll actually put a link of it down in the description and I'll actually put it in the comment section too and, and pin it. So if you guys want to check that video out, you can. So you'll have two different methods of making a bonsai tree. Um, the first one can possibly work for you, but it just didn't work for me. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit different. We're going to teleport from here, 30 feet, right into my son's room, just like that. Here we go. Boom, we are here in Junior Peacock's room. You guys remember his room, right? You got the 55-gallon in Buna tank, and I just made space there for the 10-gallon Zen tank. Angel the Betta, his tank is going there. That's where we're going to relocate him. We're going to go ahead and create this bonsai tree all right and let me tell you something about creating a bonsai tree or actually creating any type of scape inside your tank when you got mts which is multiple tank syndrome you get to use different takes for different things it's kind of nice sometimes you get to shuffle things around that's one of the pros on having multiple tanks is you get to shuffle things around you get you get to give tanks different looks and that's what we're going to do so i'm going to create this bonsai tree with uh, anubius nana petite and I have some in my community tank, and I have some in 
the actual Zen tank too as well that we're going to use. So we're going to go ahead and use that and get into this video. And let me show you how I'm going to make this bonsai tree. Boom. Now we are deep in the cubby hole right now. Okay. So we have Angel's tank, the 10 gallon Zen tank right behind me. You can see Angel still kind of chilling, moving around. He's having a good time. I'm having a good time. And check it out. I wanted to show you guys a little tip. Check this out. You see this little cart right here? This right here will save your life. You can get this little cart like at um, Home Depot. I want to say it was like 20 bucks, but check it out. It just folds. So you just squeeze this handle and this thing folds down. I'm trying to do it with one hand. Wheels tuck in. Boom. Check it out. Pretty cool little uh, gadget, right? This is a, an aquari aquarium hobby best friend right here. Or fish keeper's best friend. Fold it out, you know. And it's got the little wheels. You're good to go. So what we're going to basically do is we are going to do a water change on this tank. We're going to drop it down maybe 70, eh, 75% of water make this tank a lot lighter we're just going to transfer it put it on the little dolly and we're going to wheel it into junior peacock's room real simple um you can take a look at this tank it's kind of a mess and um that's what we're going to do so that temple right there we're going to go ahead and replace that with the bonsai tree got some anubius right there we're going to keep all the statues all the zen statues in there uh the buddha the gold buddha we're going to keep him and of course we're going to keep all the fish we got some nearite snails in there. We got some, uh, I think I have one, Habrosa uh, Cory catfish. And then we got some Julii. I think we got three Julii catfish in there too as well. That's it. Real simple, 10 gallon Zen tank. We're going to transfer it, put it in the room. Let's go. See all this Anubius Nana Petite? We're going to go ahead and pull it all out. So I kind of got it tucked under these rocks. So we got some really good growth on these Anubius Nana Petites. One, two, here is three. Look at the roots on these things. Uh, so they're really healthy, which is a good thing. Four, five pieces. This one's long. Oh, look at the root base on these. So we got a whole handful of Anubius Nana Petite here to help us. And what I did was turkey based some fish water. And we're going to just drop these inside there so they don't dry out. Now we're here with the 20 long. And we're going to go ahead and jack some more Anubius Nana Petite down in here. So let's go ahead and dig up these bad boys. They got some really nice long wow these things got some really long roots okay so i got this one we got another one back over here i'm gonna go ahead and grab this one so this is two big pieces we can probably cut that into a couple more we're gonna stick them in our cup So we got our Nubius and our Nubius Nana Petite down in there. That's going to help us make our bonsai tree. All right, so this week's Aloha Positive Comment shout out goes to The Cove. She's always leaving positive vibes, positive comments on all my videos. Huge supporter of the Hawaiian Peacock. So I just got to give her a shout out. She actually left a comment last uh, video saying, congratulations, I'm so happy for you. They're beautiful little babies awesome video hashtag aloha my friend much love that positive comment goes out to you she's in, talking about the video of the baby and buna that i got so if you haven't checked that video out go check it out i just wanted to give her a huge shout out much aloha to you the cove thank you all right guys so here we go we got this piece of spider wood this is the spider wood that was actually in the zen tank angels tank all right so what we're going to do is I found these rubber bands. My wife, Mrs. Peacock, has a ton of these black rubber bands, okay? So I got a bunch of these black rubber bands and what we're basically gonna do is we're just gonna rubber band these to the tree and actually make it look like a tree. So that's gonna be 
real easy to do. And these little rubber bands that are black, after a while, I'm sure, as you can see them, I'm sure they'll wear out and they'll break. So I just gotta kinda watch them as they float around in the um, tank. And um, hopefully by the time these break, uh, the roots of these uh, Anubius Nana and Anubius Nana Petit, hopefully these roots take and grip onto the tree. So let's go ahead and start our tree. All right, this is the part of the video where I went ahead and did a time lapse. So I'm basically grabbing the uh, Nubius Nana Petit and actually rubber banding it to the ends of the spider wood. Really easy to do. A couple rubber bands on each side, giving it some more fullness. Um, I took a piece of the Anubius and, and rubber band that in the middle to give it more girth, more body, and more branches so it looks more like a tree. Look at that bonsai tree. That looks like the damn bonsai tree on the back of Daniel LaRusso's gi in Karate Kid. That's what that looks like. Let's go wax the floor. The bonsai tree, the centerpiece. Check it out. So basically just groups, bunches of Anubius Nana Petit up top, rubber band with the black rubber bands, which you can't barely see, and then a big piece of Anubius Nana in the middle, just to kind of give it some fullness, I guess, on a piece of spider wood. Now it's really important when getting spider wood that you get something that represents or, or resembles a tree. So I hope you guys like this video. This video was dope, because A, Mrs. Peacock's gonna be so happy when she sees her little cubby hole. Look at it. I even straightened it up. It looks really nice, neat, tidy. It's not cluttery. I guess she was right. Now that I look at it, it was pretty cluttery. Anyways, she's going to love it. So B, we relocated the tank and put that in Junior Peacock's room. So now he's got the 10-gallon and the 55-gallon in his room. C, we rescaped it, did a water change on that tank so everybody's happy. And not only that, we redid the bonsai tree. The bonsai tree looks sick. It came out so good. Check it out. Matter of fact, I'm going to put the link, like I said, I'm going to put the link to the old bonsai tree video that I did down in the description. I'm also going to pin it and put it down in the comment box. Go check it out. That's bonsai tree. And then we got bonsai tree 2.0. That's the one I just did. Tell me what you guys think down in the comment box. All right. Bonsai tree or bonsai tree 2.0. Which one do you guys like? You guys are going to see a couple ways of making a bonsai tree. So yeah. Take it for what it's worth. Maybe it'll inspire you to make a bonsai tree for your tank or aquarium. Real simple to do, especially the ones with the rubber bands. You can buy a big bag of those over at Target or uh, Walmart. Uh, go down in like the, um, I don't know, the hair care aisle for women. And they have bags of these rubber bands. So go check it out. Really small. You don't have to really wrap them up a lot. So they're already tight as you like kind of just put them around things. So it was really easy to do. Check it out. Um, you know, I hope you guys got inspired by this. You know, I was trying to inspire you guys to maybe make a bonsai tree. I've had some comments in the past on how to make a bonsai tree, or they were actually like, you know, hey, I, would, I love that bonsai tree, but I was like, no, there's gonna be a better one coming out. I'm gonna put out this new video. So with that being said, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Don't forget to like and share. Be a part of the Hawaiian Peacock Ohana. Go check out my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at Hawaiian Peacock. And don't forget, every Wednesday, Hawaiian Peacock's dropping a new video. Okay, Wednesday morning, you get up, make some coffee, go to YouTube. Oh, Hawaiian Peacock video. Bang. Anyways, love you guys. Thank you for all the love and support. Happy fish, happy life, or in this case, happy wife, happy life. Take care, much love, and aloha. Every, every day, all the water she